You'll be able to recall Osgood Schlatter disease in this Pikmonic by recalling this scene about an Australian soccer player with a knee injury. Osgood Schlatter disease is an inflammatory bone condition, also referred to as tibial tubercle apophysitis. This disease is described as apophysitis of the tibial tubercle, illustrated as inflammation of the Tibetan monk tube, which means there is painful inflammation at the apophysis or site of patellar tendon insertion on the tibia. Typically, we see Osgood Schlatter disease in active young boys, represented by the young boys being active in this pycmonic, and can present after activities like running and jumping, shown literally as their actions. This is described as an overuse injury, the overtime injury, and happens from long durations of physical activity, often in sports, and these injuries commonly present after a recent growth spurt, shown as the sudden growth. It is important to know that the diagnosis of Osgood Schlatter disease is a clinical one and is typically made after listening to the patient history. This is depicted as making history with the diagnosis. Patients complain of anterior knee pain, the anteater knee with pain bolts, and on physical exam display an enlarged tibial tubercle, represented by the enlarged Tibetan monk tube, with edema of the knee, shown as edamame. Osgood Schlatter disease does not require drastic interventions and resolves with rest, the character resting on the stretcher, along with NSAIDs, the NSAD. Patients should have physical activities restricted until the pain resolves, shown as the activity restricted by the belts, as this is a self-limiting disease that does not require any other interventions, portrayed by the selfie limited in this image. So let's quickly summarize Osgood Schlatter disease, which is also known as tibial tubercle apophysitis. This is described as apophysitis of the tibial tubercle, or painful inflammation of the patellar tendon where it inserts on the tibia. It's seen in active young boys and typically presents after activities involving running and jumping, as it is an overuse injury. Another common history is that the pain began after a recent growth spurt. Now, remember that Osgood Schlatter disease is a diagnosis made on history and clinical exam. There is a history of anterior knee pain coupled with an enlarged tibial tubercle and edema. Patients should initially rest and can take NSAIDs to control pain and swelling. Activity should be restricted until the pain resolves, as this disease is self-limiting and does not require any other interventions. All's good slow disease is like a good old game of Aussie soccer. It's Australia versus Tibet. And these Tibetan monks are no joke. They train night and day until they exhibit apophysitis of their tibial tubes. And then these freaky little Tibetan monks use the flaming tubes on their tubercles for some sort of ninja monk power play. Get a load of that. Reckon it's all the training that makes these active young boys so formidable. Look at them, running all around and jumping. It's already overtime. And due to overuse injuries, the Aussies are dropping out like flies. The keeper's the only one left. And thanks to a recent growth spurt, his defense is left wide open. For the rest of the story, check out Pickmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Pickmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our lower extremity disorders Pickmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from Osgood Schlatter disease, patellofemoral pain syndrome, slipped capital femoral epiphysis, leg calf perthes disease, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.